Hey what's up it's Philip and welcome back to the channel in this video I'll show how how to create a clothing for your meta human that will follow the meta human uh, proportions so if you make it bigger it will uh, adapt to the meta human I found this uh, technique uh, from the Nova Effectus YouTube channel and uh, the guy makes a really good and really awesome Unreal Engine 5 tutorials definitely subscribe to his channel and check uh, his videos out uh, so uh, let's uh, start let's go the first step is to activate your MetaHuman install plugin if you didn't just uh, check out this video but basically it's just edit plugins type in MetaHuman and enable everything here under the MetaHuman restart your engine you're good to go the next thing is that we need to create a MetaHuman and download one uh, uh, cloth asset from a fab marketplace so let's go to the window to the fab here you can just type in MetaHuman price to be free and we have this MetaHuman cloth oversized hoodie this is what I'm using for this tutorial so you can just select license personal and add to project I'm using this because the arms and the clothing is already uh, adapted to the meta human character uh, it's easier to uh, actually later it's easier to fix uh, some errors and it's uh, faster you can do with any mesh you found on this uh, fab marketplace the next thing is we go to content and we will right click we go to meta human and meta human character and we can call this the one it's always good to save and double click to open it up if you got this error enable missing just wait for the meta human to load up hit enable missing and wait for a second and hit restart now save everything after that open your meta human you can go under the presets here and choose the sample uh, meta human character you can go for this for example just double click it and you can see that we have our character here after that go to the hair and clothing and scroll a little bit down and you can see this default garments click it and click remove but now we need to export combined skeletal mesh so go to meta human character and click over here export combined scale mesh and we will save it in the content folder you can create a separate folder if you want we'll just we'll call this the one combined skeletal mesh so click save and if you go back you can see your skeletal mesh here let's save everything let's go with a file and create a new level we go with basic hit create and drag your skeletal mesh and after that it's very important that you click this uh, location and reset to the defaults if I press F now our character is on the zero 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 everything is zero don't worry about all these textures because it's not important right now we are just using this skeletal mesh so the clothing would uh, fit to the metahuman after that I will go with the control and space and go back to fab and you go all the way to the textures oh sorry go to the static mesh and you can see this wool sweater so just drag and drop it to the level hey if you like this video so far uh, you can support me on patreon it will be highly appreciated uh, thank you and of course uh, make sure that location is also zero 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 and it doesn't fit perfectly this is uh, where the most tedious part of this uh, procedure is is to fix this with the skeletal mesh but once you did this it's uh, just a simple straightforward process so let's uh, fix this you can select your wool sweater and move it a little bit down if you have this snapping just remove this snapping so you can move this you know smoothly and move it all the way you can always go and hit uh, unlit so you can see it better where is the problem uh, the goal here is with any of these uh, assets is to uh, make it so it covers your the whole body without any you know errors like this so to fix these errors here we can always go to selection mode to modeling and click here deformations and you can choose vertex sculpt or dynamic sculpt let's go with dynamic sculpt but over here it's very very important that you deselect this enable remeshing because we are just moving the mesh around so let's make this a little bit smaller and let's move a little bit our mesh around so it nicely covers all these things I will not do this uh, perfectly because it will take too much time to cover all these errors or you can go back to deform and use vertex sculpt and also reduce a little bit size and also move things here a little bit
and when you are done with covering all of your errors just hit accept and now if you go to back to lit mode back to selection we have our clothing on top of our character and now it's a good time to save everything Control shift s after everything is done we go back to the modeling mode and we now need to bake the position of our wool sweater so select it and let's go to the x form and bake transform this is because uh, it will uh, set scale to be 111 so when you import your um, mesh it will always be at the center of the world make sure that bake scale is bake full scale pa 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 hit accept and as you can see our scale is now one one and one now let's click uh, world origin so click edit pivot this will move the pivot point from our mesh to zero 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 this is crucial when we are converting this uh, to a skeletal mesh click world origin and you can see over here on the left side everything is zero edit pivot point accept we have nicely prepared our uh, asset on the right side you can see everything is zero and scale is one this is good because if we go back to selection and move our for example and we click this reset it will reset exactly to our metahuman and if we move our skeletal mesh it will if we reset it will always get get back to the metahuman and it looks awesome so what we need to do now now it's important important step is we want to convert this wool sweater into a skeletal mesh so right click and convert to skeletal mesh creation type will be use existing skeletal mesh use existing skeletal mesh and it will be our skeletal mesh this one the one combined skeletal mesh that we created before so drop down menu the one combined skeletal mesh and click convert now we need to transfer weights from our skeletal mesh to the new skeletal mesh so it will uh, fit perfectly to our metahuman so click our new skeletal mesh up here edit weights click it expand this weight transfer and select our source skeletal mesh and over here select your uh, skeletal mesh that we created with our metahuman it's the standard the one so select it and now it will transfer weights to our cloth accept now it's transferred and click over here save this asset now we can remove this wool sweater and we can add our skeletal mesh here and if we click over here reset it will perfectly fit to our meta human uh, the next thing is a boring part but we need to do this i will do this everything here under the fab static meshes so everything is one in one place okay so we need uh, to create our cloth asset so right click and it's under physics you can see cloth asset we call this ca new chaos cloth asset you can name this or leave it as it is the double click to open it up and don't worry about everything here just select everything or, or control a and hit delete and now we need to add just uh, two nodes first let's go right click and type in skeletal mesh import i will zoom it so you can see it now just drag here and type in cloth asset terminal uh, select again your skeletal mesh import and now we need to import our skeletal mesh you can always go here and just drag this skeletal mesh or you can go here and over here choose our skm wool sweater this is the same as as this one so select it in drop down your skeletal mesh skm wool sweater it will show up in the editor save it close it and go back to your uh, folder next thing we want to do is to create the outfit asset so right click type over here outfit asset when you get this uh, make sure to select this resizable outfit because we want to put it on the metahuman so when whenever we change the metahuman the outfit will change also so resizable outfit open it up so all we need to do here is on the left side you can see this data flow uh, menu expand this variable overrides size outfit source and click this add element and this expand this and expand body parts and under the source asset we will add just what we created here is a ca new chaos cloth asset make sure that this ca is selected i know it's a little bit uh, clunky but that's how it is we need to follow that i hope it will be easier and better in the future 
and our source body parts will be our skeletal mesh uh, the one we always use it's called the one so the one combined skeletal mesh uh, right now you need to wait for a little bit because it needs need to add these sources uh, it, but don't worry just don't touch anything it will uh, be fine so don't uh, worry if this is always at the zero percent okay after that's done click save and after that uh, we have only one thing to do it's to create a wardrobe item that we will import into our meta human so type in wardrobe select it meta human wardrobe item double click to open it up over here we need to uh, insert our outfit asset not a cloth asset so it's a little bit i know it's a uh, confusing but just follow the steps here or write it down OA new outfit asset and under the pipeline meta human choose meta human outfit pipeline and we have a new section under the pipeline if you expand it you can see editor pipeline meta human outfit editor pipeline and hit save and now it's the moment of clarity uh, let's go back to our meta human uh, go to selection here go down we need to drag our compatible asset here so control and space to open it up and make sure to uh, drag this wardrobe item here just drag and drop it here and we have also a thumbnail which is looking good okay nice and double click to apply it you can see how it looks and i'm really really happy about this and if we go to body and we can go to model we can change the height here and it will automatically change the clothing which is very 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 powerful and this is it guys if you find this video helpful uh let me know in the comments below you can subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this and uh, see you in the next one